Hello and welcome to you all from the Giuseppe Miazza in Milan. This is Peter Drury and next to me providing insights will be Jim Begley. Thanks Peter, it's a pleasure and a privilege for me to be here. So it's away we go then. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Well, look out for a goal scorer in Rodrigo Palacio. His critics will point out to the fact that he needs a handful of chances to register one goal, but he gets goals and he has a healthy record to support that reliability. Well, quite no argument from me on that one. Out to the left it goes, and he's onside. They've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Out of play for a goal kick. Brunocchia. Santo. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? Fires from distance. Good strike, quite an alarm. Shows it out of harm's way. Quarine. Gets good distance on it. Quarine with a beautifully timed run. Into Milan of the game in high-octane fashion. Look, it's testament to a very vigorous start that has clearly caught their opposition cold. Goal! Inter! Unbelievable. And how about that for a volley? Executed to perfection. Look, you can end up looking a bit silly if you don't make the right connection on the volley, but he met that cross perfectly. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. You know, sometimes it just comes down to who wants it more. Who's got the passion? Who's got the pride? I think we've just had the answer to that. Pumps it upfield. And Danovic deals with it effortlessly. Guarin. He's on a run down the left wing. Plays it into the channel. Into Milan seeing a lot of the ball and have a 1-0 lead to show for it. Out for a throw. Well, this man's contribution is, as you would expect, proving terrific. Well, not only can a player of such high calibre show the imagination to set up a goal, but he can also produce when the pressure's on to deliver a big moment. This guy was born to create. Bye, bye, bye. With a delicate ball. And, oh, the 
that's too long. Vidic. The win here is so important to their ambitions. Schwan with the ball through. Fine defending there. So they've got the only goal to make it 1 0. So what now? Is there any support? He might not need it. And Danovic got just about enough on that, but all at the expense of a corner. Fence has got rid of that. Balls out on the left, now. Mauro Icardi got into a good position, but he may need to hold things up. Passes it through. He'll have a dip! Into Milan, looked all at sea and terribly vulnerable, but they've got away with it. Cuts it out. Thrust towards the front line, tries to dink it in. And that's a goal kick. Into Milan, emerge unscathed, they were right up against it. Santon. Tries making a foray down the right. Jeffrey Condogbia. Into Milan, far ahead here, it has been a good half for them. Santo. Looks to slip it through. Another piece of really good defending. Binocchio. Santo. Mattel. Guarine, Juan. Oh, they've seen lots of the ball. Trying to go for it a bit, a bit of creativity and adventure. Goes long and forward. <laughs> Juan. Reached half time. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now can they protect it? Into Milan, leading 1 0 at the break. Well, 1 0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. He's had a shot! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Oh, he's done ever so well there. That's a wonderful, wonderful save. Jeffrey Condogbia knocks it towards the front. Tries a through ball. Ranocchia decides to play it back. Really well taken goal. Two up and threatening to pull clear. Reflections on the goal. Well, his most important job there was to keep the shot down, and he did that without any problems. That's good concentration, you know. Into Milan, grab a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Guarine. Doing well down the left. Now, what are his options? 
Well, that's where he wants it. Yeah, the defence had him exactly where they wanted him there. Didn't even give him the space or, or the room to turn. And I think if they can keep him facing the other way, then his threat becomes a much lesser issue. Can he find a finish now? And the ball's come out. And he's found the net! And Danovic did well the first time. Nothing he could do about the follow-up. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was are absolutely top-notch. This is threatening to become a really good game. Well, I think they probably needed an early goal in this half just to give them the confidence and belief to push on and look for an equaliser. Jeffrey Kondogbia. Well, that goal really has stirred things up. The cat right amongst the pigeons now. Yeah, Peter, the, the cushion is gone and it may get a little bumpier over the next few minutes, but it doesn't have to mean a momentum switch. If they can gather themselves quickly, they could hit back. This is gone, that's a foul. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to uh, to dig in for his team here. Benocchio. Santon. It's a promising run he's making on the right. Hit long and direct. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. I timed this run brilliantly, and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then, and I think he's letting him know right now about that. Just a little more behind it was needed. Jeffrey Kondogbia. Into Milan, haven't made a substitution yet. Looks to thread it through. Keeper's got good distance on that. Mattel. Aimed long and direct. It's a throw. Into Milan, have a sub ready to come on. D'Ambrosio, Jeffrey Condogbia. Mattel, Jeffrey Condogbia. Dodo floats one over. It looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Has he found his man? Jeffrey Kondogbia. Jovetic. Looks like a good ball through. D'Ambrosio into the middle. Managed to get it away. Back to the 
keeper and try something new. Granocchia. Decent ball. Away from immediate danger. Who's going to make this theirs? He'll have a tip! Saved only by poor finishing. Two minutes to be added on. Inter Milan just have to run down the clock. And that is it, the referee has seen enough. Inter Milan have booked their berth in the knockout stage. What a prospect for them. A job really well done so far. Thoughts on what we've just seen? Well, it's a group campaign with significantly more ups than downs for me and a big step achieved to take the pressure off for what remains. They're in a great position now.